This is Alan Bush with ADMIS with the daily financial forecast for Thursday, August 6th. Starting out with the stock index futures, we are seeing a little pressure this morning. Uh, looks though like it is on very light volume. Also keep in mind that we do have a double top pattern at record highs in the September S&P 500 futures. So I think that anyone that is short will probably be having buy stops somewhere above that uh, historical high level. Also as far as earnings, looks like 75% of the companies that have reported earnings in the S&P 500 have uh, beat earnings estimates and 50% have also exceeded revenue expectations. Moving over to the foreign currencies, seeing the euro currency trading a little bit better now after factory orders in Germany coming in up 2% this after a decline in the previous month. Also, we are seeing some pressure in the British pound after the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee basically having somewhat of a, a dovish statement. Only one of their nine members voted for an increase in interest rates with the majority of analysts thinking that there would be at least two members voting for an increase. So that somewhat of a dovish surprise uh, taking the British pound lower. Also, we had some weak economic numbers in the UK uh, putting some additional pressure on the British pound. We have the Bank of Japan holding a two-day policy meeting starting today. And also we have the Australian dollar under some pressure. This after the unemployment rate in Australia uh, increased to 6.3% from a revised 6.1%. Now moving over to the interest rate markets, after two days of declines, we are seeing prices higher today, led by the long end, the 30-year bonds, uh, at least one full point higher. Uh, we do have the non-farm payroll report uh, for July coming out tomorrow at 7.30 central time with the median estimate at up 225000 And interestingly enough, it remains uh, at least the estimate remains unchanged, even though we did have the automatic data processing report yesterday showing a smaller than expected increase. So once again, that is tomorrow at 7.30. And I think we're seeing a lot of evening up possibly in the interest rate markets ahead of that report. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.